Hi, I'm John Brown and you are watching The Barn TV. Tonight we have a very special guest indeed. The legendary Mr. C will be in the building this evening. Believe it or not, he's going to be in that building over there. Looks like a pub, doesn't it? But it's not. It is actually at The Barn. It's Portsmouth's best kept secret until now. The reason for that is behind that pub that you see behind me is one of Portsmouth's finest, if not arguably the best underground venue that the scene has to offer. It's a 250 capacity nightclub and in it tonight will be Georgie Loves, a party which has come to prominence now amongst the local house and techno scene. We're going to get inside now and meet Mr C, some of the DJs, the promoters and the good people tonight behind this party and hopefully some of you. Mental, I am John Brown and we are of course at the barn for the Georgie Loves. Georgie Loves, what's the official full title of tonight, Stu Brian? Georgie Loves, Mr. C, Smell the Coffee album launch. A Georgie Loves, Mr. C, Smell the Coffee album launch. Georgie does indeed love Mr. C. Um, this man here knows all about Georgie Loves because he's a resident, if I'm not mistaken. I am indeed, yes. I've been a resident uh, pretty much from the start, I think. So yeah, um, been a labour of love, but I think we're getting there, turning the corner. We've had some great nights down here. Um, Wiggle last week, Colin Dale's a resident, obviously Dave Angel's a regular feature, and obviously Mr. C, first time he's played in Pompey for, I don't know how long, like years, years and years. So yeah, it's, it's big it's big shakes really, we're, we're getting there with it and it's good to be involved with it man, it's, uh, Matt's done well, the venue's coming along, Georgie as a brand is coming along, as the in-house brand, we're on the road, so I, um, off to Bournemouth in August with uh, Eddie Richards, so yeah, it's, it's all going well man, it's going good. Man is soups. This gentleman over here is rich. Last time I come down here, it was uh, Eddie Rich's nights, right? Wicked. Pumping. <laughs> I love it. National sort of sound, is it? Yeah, yeah, I love house. I love house music. Very good, very good. My brother did uh, quite a few do down here. Perfect, perfect, very good. Yeah, I love it. Shortly, Mr. C is going to take to the decks and effects. In the meanwhile, it is the man of the hour, though, Mr. Voodoo Junkie. TV. I'm John Brown and this lovely lady here is... Mini Miss, Mini Miss Flash X Dancer, 
Okay, and you've got a little bit to do with the barn, haven't you? Tell us all about it. I have, yes. I run my own dance group called the Smash It, because we smash it. And I also run my own event called Star of the Unknown. Okay. And um, basically, it's based here in the barn, Norton Arms. And also, my dance group is based in Norton Arms. But we do venture out probably throughout the South Coast and further on. I love Rainer. Rainer's wicked. Rainer, very quickly, oh. tell us a bit about yourself, because Rainer's got quite a lot to do with the venue as well, to be fair. Yeah, I'll go Hello. Back to back, Hello, I'm a Rainer, and I run the job and bass night, push forward, run the old school night walk, taking things to another level, back to the old school as we do. Okay. Okay. Right, job. Push forward, push forward, push forward. Tell me more about that. We're pushing things forward, aren't we? We are busy. <laughs> <laughs> Barn TV, we are out in the courtyard. It is Georgie Loves tonight. It's a very special night indeed. It's the legend. It is Mr. C is going to be here. But first, let me speak to some of the people that are here. Guys, what are your names? My name's Dawn. Bill. And your name? Uh, Debbie. Okay, so what brings you here tonight? Well, what brings us here tonight is that um, we actually um, know Richard from years back and um, we met each other at the End Club back in 1996. And um, so, yeah, so we're here because um, we used to go to the end all the time. So we love Richard. <laughs> you guys you guys are local? Yeah. Yeah, very. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so for him to come to sort of your, your local area, that's, yeah, no, that's good. Uh, let me ask about the T-shirt, because the T-shirt is awesome. Okay. Where did you get it? Well, I got it in London. I got it in Camden yesterday. I, um, I work for a children's home locally, and um, I took one of the kids up to London. And um, I saw it, and actually it's quite cheesy, and I thought it was so good because it's cheesy that, um, yeah, from our tray. <laughs> but it's not cheesy, because I, I like, I want one. I want, it's not fair. Right, so I've got to go to Camden. Where in Camden? Well, at, just Camden Market. Camden Market, yeah. see? Awesome place to go. I've, awesome. done some, I, I, I've, I've, I've sort of made it a bit groovy, though. I've cut the neck off, and um, I've sort of done a few little things to the sleeve, just to make it not look like a T-shirt, so. <laughs> evening, evening, you are. And what's your name, sir? Daniel. And what's your name, sir? Mark. And... Heather. Hello, Heather. How are you? Well, guys, what brings you here this evening? What brings us here? Yeah. What I used to go to school with Matt. Did you really? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I love a chair. Right, okay. <laughs> right. Home truth, home truth, home truth. Right. Home truth. Home truth. <laughs> Camera's all yours. I want to hear all of it. Come on. No, we, used to, we all used to be in the same year. Really? Yeah, at school. So we're just, we're just checking out his um, talents as a uh, as up and coming DJ. Uh, and we like obviously he's a he's a cool dude. And no, and no less a, a promoter as well now, and, and you know a manager yeah, of a venue. Yeah, and really well, yeah, we're really proud. Yeah, because I grew up. So he's a he's been a. Um, Don't run away, Heather. Where are you going? <laughs> she knew. She knew. So earlier on, I had a conversation with this young lady, and, uh, and it was it became evident that, like any normal decent person should, she doesn't appreciate being spoken down to. Now I didn't. Like, by the way, I just want to clarify before we get into this. I didn't speak down to her, but she was commenting that somebody else was. So I remembered this for this conversation, so that she would know that I'm not speaking down. No, I'm going to speak up to her instead. How's that work? You like that? Right, I'm going to stop rambling. Come up, come up, come up, come up. What's your name? Sky. Sky, uh, Sky works here, don't you Sky? Yes, I do, I do. 
Okay, tell us all about because the kind of the essence of what we're doing at the moment is we want to try and um, talk to people outside that have kind of maybe come by or seen a flyer but they've never been here before and we want to know why they should come here. A lovely manager type person. Um, Matt. Yeah, there he is. Um, <laughs> And everyone in here is just lovely. The vibe's absolutely brilliant, basically. Okay, what brings you here tonight? I always down here. Always. Yeah. So you're a regular, regular yeah. bond goer. Yeah. <laughs> what do you like about it though? Because there's still a few people that don't like know about it. it. I'll tell you what, you can come here by yourself, but at the end of the night, you know everyone. See, that's yeah, that's what it should be about, that's what it should be all about. So, that, I mean, selling it to someone, if someone's outside and they're going, right, okay, what's going on in here? What, why do I need well, to If you don't want to go to a cattle market, you come here, innit? You're here for the music, not to hear the pool. Hello, I'm on the floor again. I seem to, uh, seem to be finding myself on this courtyard floor quite a lot, but don't worry about that, it's not about me, it's about these ladies here. What are your names? <laughs> we'll start with your name. I can tell you this. Hello, I'm Joanne. Hello, Joanne. I'm Nettie. Hello, Nettie. How are you? How are you girls? Are you enjoying your evening? We are. Yeah, yeah very much so. It's a early yet, so... You plan it, planning on uh, seeing it through to the end? Obviously. Yeah, it's, it's always. Yeah. <laughs> Work it's, hard, play hard. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Is, is um, the barn summer you come regularly? And, and if so, what brings you here? The people, atmosphere. Yeah. Best place in Portsmouth. Yeah. It seems the only place in Portsmouth to come where uh, all our friends seem to come, really. Yeah. Um, and lots of London DJs come down here and return. They don't just come once, they return because it's quite an intimate, nice little venue. Georgie loves. He's also uh, he's tonight's promoter. He's tonight's manager. He runs the gaff. He is the man behind the concept. That's the barn. He's also an artist. He's also a producer. He's also a DJ. He's also a party animal. And he's a bit of a legend. Hey, I'm good. I'm good. Very good. I've done all the work for you there, really. I'm not. Yeah, he's cheers. Amazing. You can't say nothing now. I don't have to say nothing now. Yeah, cheers, dude. Right. He's amazing. I could just say, yeah. <laughs> what, what's been going on? Because obviously it's been a while since I've been here. I've come back. Everything's literally rocking in here. A couple of nights now in a row. It's It's been really smashing it. Mr. C tonight. What was that like? Wicked, mate. Wicked. He's smashing it in there. It's It's been a brilliant night. Brilliant vibes. All the old school heads are out. It's happening big time. Really enjoying was it, it. Was it a bit of a mission to get him down? Because obviously, you know, he's a bit of a star. Yeah, it took a while, it took a while, but you know, um, you know, a few people had a chat and told them what it's about down here and yeah, he's down here now and he's having it. A yeah. few people that you've been involved with recently that we could say have also become <laughs> residents for you lately. <laughs> yes. Most definitely. <laughs> Most definitely. <laughs> Partners in London crime. <laughs> Colin Most Dow, he, he, he's a resident here, proper legend, so much support from Colin, um, also Eddie Richards, Great support from him, another legend, Dave Angel, Terry Francis, all those guys, they're, they're proper rocking it and they're really behind the barn, really supporting the place.
don't forget, listen, I've got a new album out, it's called Smell the Coffee, and it is the bollocks, right? And it, I've got some copies for sale at the end of the room there, so go and get you, do yourself a favour, these uh, CDs are exclusive for this tour, you can't buy them in any shops, you can't buy them online, they're going to be rare, so go and grab yourself a copy at the end of the room. Thank you very much and good night. You're watching The Barn TV. It is my very, very, very special privilege to introduce to you the star of the night. It is Mr. C. How are you, sir? I'm marvellous. Didn't do any harm in The Barn, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> but smashed it. Tore the granny out of it. I mean, that's what you do, right? Yeah, that's what you do best, sir. Well, to you be know, fair. yeah, I was, you know, been around the block a couple of times. <laughs> Speaking of which, there are, for those at home that should know, that should get to know, um, you've had a very illustrious career, haven't you, sir? Where did it all begin? Oh, well, it all began um, 50,000 years ago when <laughs> man started hitting a stick on a piece of wood and going, mm. <laughs> and there's a room. No, no, seriously. Um, I started rapping when I was only 16, like, um, like on street rap, pretty much. And then I got involved in the clubs in my late teens, and then uh, made my first record with Eva Lady Richards uh, when I was 20. And that came out when I was 21 in 1987, Deep House track. And I was talking about the powers of meditation and positive thinking on that. And then I decided after that tune in August 87 that I'd uh, become a DJ because I wanted to do more than just do vocals. I yep, wanted to. Yep. Uh, uh, get into production and I knew there, there was something about beats that altered people's states and that I could take them on a magical journey with it so I thought you know what I need to start to DJ and like you know get people on journeys and do something a little bit magical and so it started back then 87 88, uh, like late, late 87 you were part of something magical um, and and very very big at the time, of course, which was the Shaman. Yeah, that yeah, I, I was lucky enough to get involved with the Shaman. They started off as an indie rock band and moved down to London to get a publishing deal and a label deal, and uh, got turned on to Acid House when they had like myself, Colin Favor, Eddie Richards, Kid Bachelor, all the old school, and they changed their blueprint from rock to house. And then they got me involved, uh, got me to do a rap on a track called Move Any Mountain Progen, and uh, it kind of went from there. I started off as a guest vocalist and then. After that, they invited me on to be a full member of the band, and then boom, off it went. Did you ever imagine the Shaman to be as big as, as it became? Yeah, I kind of knew. <laughs> you know, I kind of knew. Like when I did the Move Any Mountain track, I knew that was going to be big. And then uh, once I got properly involved, I, I, yeah, I knew it was going to go off. There was no two ways about it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have done it. Those must have been magical times, man. This what? Those must have been magical times. Oh, they were magical. I mean, we did so much. We did three world tours. I got to do Top of the Pops like 10 times, you know what I mean? How was that? That must have been a bit surreal. It was, right? No, it was hilarious. You know, you've got all these like, little kids, you know, like dancing along to you, your tune and you're perverting them with like twist, <laughs> twistedness. And like, have you got away with it? I don't know, because every song was about all the states. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 like yeah. Move Any Mountain was about taking acid. Love Sex Intelligence was about all the states uh, via orgasm. And then there was like, uh, Ebenezer Good, we all know what that was about. And yep, uh, yep, yep. Boss Drum was about all the states via percussive sound. And then there was uh, Forever People, which was about telepathy and coming together when you're high coming on strong speaks for itself and yeah. it was tune after tune and we kept getting away with it it was like really really you're gonna let us say that on tv and you're gonna let us say that on radio and like talk about this stuff and in, in mainstream media really so obviously what, what do you do how did you obviously then you evolved from that um talking a little bit about some of the stuff you did obviously with your venue as well yeah, at the yeah. end which was, was, was a huge part of dance culture it was i mean like when i always said like with the shaman if i if i ever make it as a pop star because i was an underground always been an underground uh, like dj house techno acid and i said if i ever make it i'm going to pump the money back into the underground and like shaman kicked off and i, I started a label called plink plonk got a lot of the kids in um like people that no, nobody knew to make music and mixed it up with like a lot of really good producers. I opened a studio called The Watershed, uh, you know, again, like, uh, and, and then the, the last remain, remaining bit of my money, I pumped into the end, you know, I didn't buy a house, I didn't buy a car, and I always said I'd pump it all back in, and that's exactly what I did, and that worked, you know, and we managed to open a club called The End, and it was the best club in the world. It know? was, it was, I was there a few times, it, and um, just, 
unbelievable experiences and probably one of the best sound systems I'd ever heard in my yeah, life. Yeah, well, you know, we really tried to get it right and uh, we had uh, Thunder Ridge do a sound system and, uh, you know, I remember uh, we started off with uh, um, a, a four-way uh, digital crossover and then we, we upgraded and, like, we put a new system in and people are like, hold on, you've got the best system in the world, you're upgrading. I'm like, yeah, well, there was new technology came and, uh, like, the Thunder Ridge boys, they invented a five-way digital crossover and they patented 19 different ways of sound dispersion with that system and you know you've got to give people the best that you po can possibly give and that system I don't think I've even heard anything like it today really yeah. well, what happened I mean why how, how did you move on from that because obviously you... well we did we had, we had 13 years uh, um, uh, as the best as the best club in the world and uh, we uh, the whole building got bought out by a property developer and for three years he was agging the granny out of us to get out <laughs> and like, come and get out and we're like no 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 no, no. and then uh, it was in 2008 July we had a meeting with them and they said uh, you know um, your lease will run out in eight years from January uh, 2009 and we're not going to renew the lease and we'll give you eight years profit at your best year nice. yeah, right now. so what do we do we work for an, an, another eight years and maybe earn as much as that uh, or we probably wouldn't and um, or we quit now and take the money and for me that was a no-brainer because like, I'm from a very poor family and I, I, I gave like my, my brother my two brothers my, my sister my mom my auntie like percentages of the club mm -hmm. so for me it was just like a win-win situation I was yeah, able sure. to sort out their lives and of course it gets to live on in infamy as a result of that as well. Yes, infamy, infamy, everybody's got it infamy. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously from, from then until now you've obviously been producing and, and doing yeah, things, still, well, still playing out. It's a bit lazy for a few years. Um, you know, only putting out one or two EPs, easy, or two, two or three EPs a year. But in the last couple of years, I've been very busy. I put out a new album. Um, only came out in uh, April. I spent two and a half, three years working on that. It's called Smell the Coffee. That's what I was going to ask you about. Yeah, next. and um, I was to relaunch my record label, Super Free. So yeah, now I'm making. Uh, I've got the studio bug back, and I'm making a lot of tunes. I've got the album out. Um, I put a single out before the album that wasn't to do with the album uh, called I'm Going to Give You Some. A uh, bunch of remixes. I did a remix for David Scuba and Mikhail Stravastan, a, a very political track called uh, Money Dish. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've got a few other remixes of a few other people. And I've started a new project as well as a collaboration with Afi Youssef called The Indigo Kids, nice. which I'm also releasing on Super Freak. So I've got a lot of, lot of stuff coming out. Like, so I put the album out. I've got three singles coming from the album. I've got Open Up next month with Victoria Wilson James. And then I've got the future uh, EP coming out in August. And then uh, I, I um, I'm, I, I can't get enough coming out in October and then I've got all my artists remixing all the tracks from the album nice. like all the super freak uh, artists and that's going to come out as a remix album in November called Special Blend. Okay, so, uh, so you smell the coffee and then yeah, the special, special blend. Special blend, yeah. Like and I've, I've also just done a track called Echizo, which means spell yeah. in Spanish, um, coming out on Get Physical uh, as part of their new compilation for their night uh, that they're doing at Vista in Ibiza. And that's got uh, like a whole big like range of people on there. That CD's dope, actually. So I'm really, nice. uh, I'm honoured to be a part of that as well. And, um, you know, cracking on, do, making more music. And, uh, you know, from now on in, there's going to be a lot of productions from Mr. Sue. Perfect, thank you. Just one more thing about tonight. Obviously, it's part of the tour, but you're here at the barn. It's yes, uh, yes. First time in Portsmouth for a long time. It's been a while. Uh, you know, I've got a lot of history here in Portsmouth, uh, as you probably know. And uh, this little place is fucking wicked. I, I really like it. Um, the, the people here have got a good vibe. A lot of new faces, a lot of old faces. And it's good to see that there's someone in Portsmouth, you know, supporting the underground, doing something with integrity and, and, and getting it on. You know, good luck to the barn. I hope they do well. Well, thank you very much for talking to us. It's been an absolute honour. Good luck with everything you're doing. My, my pleasure. My it's pleasure been awesome. Mr. C is in the building. You know, Mr. C. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Thank <laughs> you. Thanks very much, man. Thank you very much. Thank you.